Okay, you guys, I'm going to do a short video, short and quick, on the napkin Mod Podge process on wood. So what we're going to need is a piece of wood. Our Mod Podge mat is what I use. Um, a 220 piece of sandpaper that's very fine. And we'll need a napkin. Now, these napkins um, are either two-ply or three-ply. So the first thing we want to do is we're going to separate. This is a two-ply. So I'm going to take this piece and toss it to the side. This piece has my print on it. Print side up. I don't care for this napkin too much because it's not a complete print, but due to the size of my piece of wood, it's going to work out perfectly. So what I do is I have my piece of wood. I'm just going to pour a little bit of Mod Podge on here and paint it on and I'm gonna just make sure it's covered a little bit on the edges but not too much um, you do want to make sure that you know you get it the whole piece covered because if you don't then um, you know your napkins not gonna stick everywhere now you can put your Mod Podge in a little bowl if that's how you want to do it and um, I usually just, you know, pour it on. But now that is completely covered. Okay. So now I take my napkin. I don't cut it to size, but I'll lay it evenly onto my piece of wood like I just did. Here's the key, people. A piece of plastic or saran wrap, I think is what it's called. And I wrap my fingers in it a little bit because this is how you smooth the napkins. If you use anything else, you cannot smooth it because it'll tear. And this doesn't tear at all. And it really does um, a really great job of smoothing out your napkin. Um, and I just like... Press it down and smooth it out. I do prefer uh, the saran wrap um, for smoothing than I do um, the piece of plastic, but I didn't have any for some reason down here into my craft room. And my house is uh, not far. It's just up, up um, maybe a block. Uh, we live on a ranch. So... My barn is, one spare barn room is my craft room. All right, now, this is smooth, or probably as smooth as you're going to get it without ripping. If you continue to work your piece too much because this napkin is very thin, you're going to rip it. But this is what it looks like when I'm done. The piece of napkin is still on. Yep, but it's pretty smooth if you can see okay here's the finished piece after it dries people are saying they have a problem with it I take this piece of sandpaper and in a downward motion I will go down to remove any of the excess napkin and to get that big the big piece off because it'll just come right off nice and even I will tell you that if you go in the upwards direction you're going to pull your napkin off so you do not want to do that if you come up it's going to pull your napkin so make sure you go in the down direction um, a good thing uh, that I do use and that I do like is actually a little nail file. The little metal nail files or um, really anyone will work. Okay, so my sides are done and this is what it should look like when it's finished. There's no rips or tears yet. Um, you can apply, this, is, this one isn't completely dry, but if you want a smooth finish on this piece, you'll put a layer of Mod Podge, you'll let it dry. 
completely. Hours, overnight, whatever. Put another layer of Mod Podge. Then you want to go back with your fine sandpaper. And you'll just kind of sand over the top a little bit. And any little... Um, if you have a little wrinkle or anything in here, that sandpaper is going to take it down to the wood unless you have a couple of layers of the Mod Podge on here already. But you need to sand in between in order to get the Mod Podge to adhere to uh, have something actually to grab um, when, you, when you do these napkins or you can do um, tissue paper. Uh, I even do material. Um, so pretty much that's about it. Uh, this piece, if I want it rustic, I'll put one layer of the Mod Podge, sand it, bring up that rustic look, our vintage, and um, let it dry and then do it again. And then you can paint letters or you can uh, stencil, um, vinyl, whatever you want to do. Or same way, you can do a full picture photo of a uh, just a photo of family or dog, whatever, put it on, do it exactly the same way. You always want to let the bottom layer dry completely before you process to the top layer. If not, your paper, tissue paper, or napkins will get too wet and they will tear. So, that is. Just a little tutorial on how to put a napkin on a piece of wood. Thanks for watching, guys.